love this book. It's really the only book I've ever read from cover to cover. And and to be honest, I've read it maybe five or six times. Wow. Um, uh, every time I give it to one of my mentees, I read it with them. And so this book is just, I mean, just phenomenal. I am, I am a Christian uh, by trade. <laughs> but, but this book, it, it doesn't talk about Christianity at all. It talks about Buddhism and 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 some other things that you know Christians would be like, oh, you know. <laughs> but uh, but but here's the best part about this book: it has nothing to do with religion. It's about Siddhartha's quest to understand his purpose in life, and how intelligent he is compared to his peers, and you know how arrogant he can be at times, and how it took his entire life to realize that what he had at the beginning was just as good as what he's going to have at the mm. end. And sometimes we've got to appreciate, you see what I'm saying, Michael? Sometimes we've got to appreciate what we have in order to fully be able, later in our life, appreciate what we don't have. He, he has things happen to him that he unconsciously was doing to other people, and that ultimately allowed him to have the wisdom necessary to be able to interpolate the events that happened in his life and mm. seek out wisdom in better ways. So sometimes we're looking for something but we're looking for it in all the wrong places. We're, we're looking for something that we already have right in our homes, right in, yeah. right next door, right in school. And sometimes we just got to bring our mind right back down to earth and take in what's, what, what, what is really right. I tell, I'm telling you that book, I mean, it, it, that book really got me. It, I, I mean, it, it caught me. Now, it's hard to, to read at some, part, some points of it. But what is a book that's not hard to read? <laughs> that, that's deep, Ben. You know, the yeah. world is our mirror. Yes. The river. Let the river speak to you, Michael. Let the river speak to you. <laughs>